went to Cleveland and progressed the field. Called the Jacobs Field the other day, I believe, but uh, I guess it'll always be the Jacobs Field because that's what it started off as. To pick up the ice skating rink supplies, uh, I don't know if you can see behind me there. We got fifth wheel trailer, gooseneck, 40 footer. So we're getting ready to get on the highway and head up there right now. It's just shortly after nine. I'm trying to avoid that rush hour traffic. Um, it's not fun getting up there with this set up uh, in rush hour traffic. It's rough going the truck route and uh, it's really busy in the morning. So at any rate, I'll try and get you guys a little shot when we get up there and uh, get All right, guys, I got my first load of uh, stuff back to the shop from the ice rink. That's it. This is all styrofoam insulation that they had to put down for the skating, uh, speed skating track that they had put up. So that's load one out of probably, well, I'm not the only guy running stuff. We got a couple semis running some of the bigger, heavier stuff, but this didn't tow too bad, but I think I have two more loads just like this to come home of just foam. And then the other stuff, so. I'll check in with you guys. I'll try and get some footage inside down there. I just I'm a little leery of pulling the camera out um, So we'll check here. We are inside uh, progressive field The aftermath of the ice skating rink I'm walking on the warning track here But yeah, they've got to resod this whole field skating rink was uh, over here where I'm walking to now. There's rich kids seat, seats up in there. Those are the suites. And you see the, the uh, foul pole over there, the uh, chiller sitting next to it. Yeah, this is where the big skating rink was just a week ago. They had their big uh, hockey game out here, and now it's gone. That's a, probably, let's see, get my bearing straight here. That's about where the pitcher's mound is, I believe. So, yeah, this place is a muddy, shitty mess. And they've got geotextile fabric down to try and protect it from too much garbage, but it is just a puss hole out here. And that was a, a sledding ramp, or a ski ramp, I believe. And then where those coils sit there, they you can see where they're laid out. There's sort of a path. They had a speed skating path all the way around the outside. So, yeah, this is all the ice that came off of the mats that uh, were underneath the skating rink. So, at any rate... That's what I got for you guys, and I'll give you a little sneak peek inside here in a second. You guys are still sledgehammering this shit apart. We gotta be out by the end of the week, because the uh, field needs to get back into shape before the uh, before it gets too late. I guess, I don't know how much time it takes to resod this field and get it squared away, but it is what it is, so uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. Here we are back inside. This is uh, what it looks like in here. I'm getting loaded right now. It. There's not a lot here to see. So. Hey, here I'm standing up on the deck of the trailer to give you guys a little bit better bird's eye view. Got some loading docks over here. And we have to bring that gooseneck and back it into there from right over there where that pile of garbage is and all the vehicles. What a pain. And it's only getting worse because they're bringing more and more garbage out to get rid of. So. Yeah, that's what we got. And those are our coils coming on that tow motor right there, so. Yeah, All right, guys, guys. we're uh, heading out from the field one last time for today. It's 4 o'clock, and I don't feel like playing with rush hour traffic uh, towing this big bad boy. So I don't know if you can see. 
that's what's chasing me. So at any rate, we're gonna head up 